CIET NCERT presents Audiobook of Mathematics for Class 7 Chapter 12 Algebraic Expressions Page 229 12.1 Introduction we have already come across simple algebraic expressions like x plus 3, y minus 5, 4x plus 5, 10y minus 5, and so on. In class 6, we have seen how these expressions are useful in formulating puzzles and problems. We have also seen examples of several expressions in the chapter on simple equations. Expressions are a central concept in algebra. This chapter is devoted to algebraic expressions. When you have studied this chapter, you will know how algebraic expressions are formed, how they can be combined, how we can find their values, and how they can be used. 12.2. How are expressions formed? We know now very well what a variable is. We use letters x, y, l, m, etc. to denote variables. A variable can take various values. Its value is not fixed. On the other hand, a constant has a fixed value. Examples of constants are 4, 100, minus 17, etc. We combine variables and constants to make algebraic expressions. For this, we use the operations of addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. We have already come across expressions like 4x plus 5, 10y minus 20. The expression 4x plus 5 is obtained from the variable x. First, by multiplying x by the constant 4 and then adding the constant 5 to the product. Similarly, 10y minus 20 is obtained by first multiplying y by 10 and then subtracting 20 from the product. The above expressions were obtained by combining variables with constants. We can also obtain expressions by combining variables with themselves or with other variables. Look at how the following expressions are obtained. x square, 2y square, 3x square minus 5, xy, 4xy plus 7. 1. The expression x square is obtained by multiplying the variable x by itself x multiplied by x is equal to x square. Just as 4 multiplied by 4 is written as 4 square, we write x multiplied by x is equal to x square. It is commonly read as x squared. Page 230 Later, when you study the chapter Exponents and Powers, you will realize that x square may also be read as x raised to the power 2. In the same manner, we can write x multiplied by x multiplied by x is equal to x cube. Commonly, x raised to the power 3 is read as x cubed. Later, you will realize that x cube may also be read as 
x raised to the power 3. x, x square, x cube are all algebraic expressions obtained from x. 2. The expression 2y square is obtained from y. 2y square is equal to 2 multiplied by y multiplied by y. Here, by multiplying y with y, we obtain y square. And then we multiply y square by the constant 2. 3. In 3x square minus 5, we first obtain x square and multiply it by 3 to get 3x square. From 3x square, we subtract 5 to finally arrive at 3x square minus 5. 4. In xy, we multiply the variable x with another variable y. Thus, x multiplied by y is equal to xy. 5. In 4xy plus 7, we first obtain xy, multiply it by 4 to get 4xy, and add 7 to 4xy to get the expression. Try these. Describe how the following expressions are obtained. 7xy plus 5 x square y 4x square minus 5x 12.3 Terms of an expression. We shall now put in a systematic form what we have learnt above about how expressions are formed. For this purpose, we need to understand what terms of an expression and their factors are. Consider the expression 4x plus 5. In forming this expression, we first formed 4x separately as a product of 4 and x and then added 5 to it. Similarly, consider the expression 3x square plus 7y. Here, we first formed 3x square separately as a product of 3x and x. We then formed 7y separately as a product of 7 and y. Having formed 3x square and 7y separately, we added them to get the expression. You will find that the expressions we deal with can always be seen this way. They have parts which are formed separately and then added. Such parts of an expression which are formed separately first and then added are known as terms. Look at the expression 4x square minus 3xy. We say that it has two terms, 4x square and minus 3xy. The term 4x square is a product of 4, x and x. And the term minus 3xy is a product of minus 3, x and y. Terms are added to form expressions. Just as the terms 4x and 5 are added to form the expression 4x plus y, the terms 4x square and minus 3xy are added to give the expression 4x square minus 3xy. This is because 4x square plus minus 3xy is equal to 4x square 
minus 3xy. Note, the minus sign is included in the term. In the expression 4x square minus 3xy, we took the term as minus 3xy and not as 3xy. That is why we do not need to say that terms are added or subtracted to form an expression. Just added is enough. Factors of a term We saw above that the expression 4x square minus 3xy consists of two terms, 4x square and minus 3xy. The term 4x square is a product of 4x and x. We say that 4x and x are the factors of the term 4x square. A term is a product of its factors. The term minus 3xy is a product of the factors minus 3, x and y. Page 231 we can represent the terms and factors of the terms of an expression conveniently and elegantly by a tree diagram. The tree for the expression 4x square minus 3xy is as shown in the adjacent figure. Note, in the tree diagram, we have used dotted lines for factors and continuous lines for terms. This is to avoid mixing them. Let us draw a tree diagram for the expression 5xy plus 10. The factors are such that they cannot be further factorized. Thus, we do not write 5xy as 5 multiplied by xy because xy can be further factorized. Similarly, if x cube were a term, it would be written as x multiplied by x multiplied by x and not x square multiplied by x. Also remember that 1 is not taken as a separate factor. Coefficients We have learned how to write a term as a product of factors. One of these factors may be numerical and the others algebraic, that is, they contain variables. The numerical factor is said to be the numerical coefficient or simply the coefficient of the term. It is also said to be the coefficient of the rest of the term, which is obviously the product of algebraic factors of the term. Thus, in 5xy, 5 is the coefficient of the term. It is also the coefficient of xy. In the term 10xyz, 10 is the coefficient of xyz. In the term minus 7x square y square, minus 7 is the coefficient of x square y square. When the coefficient of a term is plus 1, it is usually omitted. For example, 1x is written as x. 1x square y square is written as x square y square. And so on. Also, the coefficient minus 1 is indicated only by the minus sign. Thus, minus 1x is written as minus x. Minus 1 x square y square is written as minus x square y square.
and so on. Sometimes the word coefficient is used in a more general way. Thus, we say that in the term 5xy, 5 is the coefficient of xy, x is the coefficient of 5y, and y is the coefficient of 5x. In 10xy square, 10 is the coefficient of xy square, x is the coefficient of 10y square, and y square is the coefficient of 10x. Thus, in this more general way, a coefficient may be either a numerical factor, or an algebraic factor, or a product of two or more factors. It is said to be the coefficient of the product of the remaining factors. Try these. 1. What are the terms in the following expressions? Show how the terms are formed. Draw a tree diagram for each expression. 8y plus 3x square. 7mn minus 4. 2x square y. 2. Write three expression each having four terms. Try these. Identify the coefficients of the terms of following expressions. 4x minus 3y. A plus B plus 5. 2y plus 5. 2xy. Example 1. Identify in the following expressions terms which are not constants. Give their numerical coefficients xy plus 4, 13 minus y square, 13 minus y plus 5y square, 4p square q minus 3p q square plus 5. Page 232. Solution. We have a table with four columns. Serial number, expression, term which is not a constant, numerical coefficient. 1. xy plus 4, xy, 1. 2. 13 minus y square, minus y square, minus 1. 3. 13 minus y plus 5y square, minus y, 5y square. Minus 1, 5. 4. 4p four square q minus 3pq square plus 5. 4p four square q minus 3pq square. 4 minus 3. Example 2. A. What are the coefficients of x in the following expressions? 4x minus 3y, 8 minus x plus y, y square x minus y, 2z minus 5xz. B. What are the coefficients of y in the following expressions? 4x minus 3y, 8 plus yz, yz square plus 5, my plus m. Solution A. In each expression we look for a term with x as a factor. The remaining part of that term is the coefficient of x. We have a table here with four columns. Serial number, expression, term with factor, x coefficient of x 1 4x minus 3y 4x 4 2 8 minus x plus y minus x minus 1 
3. y square x minus y. y square x, y square. 4. 2z minus 5xz, minus 5xz, minus 5z. B. The method is similar to that in A above. We have a table with four columns. Serial number, expression, term with factor y, coefficient of y. 1. 4x minus 3y, minus 3y, minus 3. 2. 8 plus yz, yz, z. 3. yz square plus 5 y z square z square 4 m y plus m m y m you were just listening to the audiobook mathematics for class 7 narrator gaurav marva assistance in production samya malik producer vimlesh chaudhary presented by C-I-E-T-N-C-E-R-T, New Delhi, India.